I think they basically thought we were naive greenies from the city. I'm sure they thought that we had come here with all these ideas and within a year or two we'd find it was all just too hard and it wasn't happening and we'd go again. This was a largely gorse infested farm. Gorse is a terrible, terrible weed for pastoral farming. It's shocking. So if you've got it, it's worth looking at its good points and seeing, well, maybe we don't have to fight it. So we said, no, we're just gonna leave the gorse alone on this gorse infested pasture. We don't want pasture, we want native forest to regenerate and gorse is a wonderful nurse canopy for native forest regeneration. All the farmers in the area thought he was a total nutter. I was a, a, a sceptic of it. They went, no, he's going to let gorse grow. You can't let gorse grow. I think it was in about October 1987, we wrote an article. I just thought we'd let the community know what we were doing here. I said in the article, my secret dream is that one day a whole catchment from summit crest to sea, from snow tussock to nikol palm, from Salmesia to Mamaku tree fern and yellow-eyed penguins could be set aside for nature to reassert her original covering. A few weeks later we got this amazing response. He said, I am all for saving patches of bush, but the thought of starting from scratch on land that is clear enough to be used productively frankly appalls me. As for shutting up a whole valley, heaven help us from fools and dreamers. I love that, I regard that as a, as a great compliment because we need a few more fools and dreamers in the world, I think. <laughs>